your number one source for local news. News Channel 3. Good Sunday evening, everybody, from the News Channel 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Pardon the shakiness of the camera here while I get things a little bit better set up. We're looking again at some nice conditions in the Mid-South for some good stargazing out across the area for tonight. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. Plus, if you saw some of the meteors that we saw on News Channel 3 on some of our cameras this last week, we'll have an update on how you can report what you saw as part of citizen science. We'll also take a look and to see what's flying overhead tonight and give you an idea as to what to look for or when and which direction. So a couple of things overhead, not all the best viewing conditions with that. More on that coming up here in just a little bit. If you missed it just a little while ago, a successful launch of the Shenzhou 11, if I'm not mistaken, crewed, uh, crew going up with the space station for China. The second one is on its way up, Tiangong 2, or Heavenly Palace 2. Crew is heading up uh, into the orbit in just a little bit. This will be a month-long expedition. Jin Haiping and Chen Dong will be coming, going up uh, on Shenzhou 11 mission. Uh, launched the rocket earlier this evening and everything was again successful from what it looks like. Everybody heading back on upwards into the atmosphere and through and upwards into the atmosphere and looking very good conditions for liftoff and a successful launch there and wishing a good amount of success to the Chinese astronauts uh, heading up into around Earth orbit to check out the second space station. Again, Chinese space station Tiangong-2 is up and working and you can see it if you're patient and have a good amount of visibility out there. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. Tonight we do have again some things going up across the area. The first one is going to be Tiangong-1, the original space station which will be coming back down to Earth here in the next few months, hopefully in a controlled burn more on that as we know about it over the next few days and weeks. It'll be rising at about 727, right hand side of your screen as it goes past Booties the Shepherd, making its way between Ursa Minor and Ursa Major, just below the North Star, between the North Star and the Northern Horizon at about 730 and fading as it approaches the Northeast Horizon and Perseus, the constellation at about 731. The only trouble is this is going to be a very dim view. It's not going to be that easily seen, so you're going to need a good place away from city lights and the haze associated with that to be able to see this. So good opportunity to see that if at all possible if you're out there. A little bit better viewing conditions will be for OTV4, the space plane, the so-called secret space plane, otherwise known as the Boeing X-37B. That'll be rising in the west about the same place as the Tiangong-1 this will be a little bit brighter, so you'll be able to see this a little bit easier as it rises from the west, heading up over the southern skies and fading as it heads down toward Aquarius. It'll be just north of Mars and Saturn and Venus. A little bit easier to see there as it goes a little bit closer to the southeast horizon. Dim again, but better and easily able to spot this one. The really bright one for tonight is going to be a very short trek of the International Space Station. That will be rising in the northwest at about 8.07 tonight and it'll fade just as it gets a little bit higher over the horizon. It'll go right through the handle of the Big Dipper at about 8.09 and it'll be making its way out of view as it goes into Earth's shadow at around 8.10 tonight as it approaches the Little Dipper and heads right through the body of the constellation of Draco the Dragon. So good opportunity to see that for tonight. So three great spotting opportunities for this evening. So get out and see if you can see anything there. If you missed it from earlier this week, we did have a sighting of a meteor crashing through the atmosphere a few days ago around Wednesday or so. And if you saw this, you can participate in citizen science. It'd be a great opportunity to see what was out there. This was seen over the course of several states. This view from the American Meteor Society, you know, posting the information from people who saw this all across the southeastern United States, from Texas to Tennessee, Kentucky to the Gulf Coast. A lot of people saw it, including a lot of people right here in the Mid-South. So if you saw this earlier this week, and would like to see more about Wednesday, October 12th at about 647 in the morning, uh, no reports of any sound with this but it was reporting as being fragmented as it flew through the atmosphere video of this you can see it at wrg.com slash uh, weather for more information on that. If you'd like to report this or any other meteors that you see across the area, all you have to do is go to amsmeteors.org and report a fireball bright and fast like a shooting star. It was a fireball. Recurring events, again, a fireball is rare. Slow blinking objects, that's a airplane. This is going to be a really fast, bright object, sometimes exploding.
flying as it goes across the sky and if it lasts more than 30 seconds it's not a fireball so again if you'd like to participate this is your opportunity to do so you don't need a phd to engage in citizen science and the american meteor society can help you with that it's amsmeteors.org if you'd like to find out more there beautiful view of mars this week as the esa the european space agency and roscosmos the Russian Space Agency has a joint mission heading for Mars and will be working its way there, landing later on this week. The Chaparelli probe orbiter and lander will be making its way toward the surface. Separation started today and will be making its way closer to the surface and everything appears to be working well. Chaparelli uh, named after the famous Mars observer, uh, which theorized the possibility of canals on Mars. His name was Giovanni Schiaparelli back in the 19th century, a famous Italian astronomer who got the idea of canals and therefore the, the misinterpretation that there might be life on Mars. So something to think about there for everything. We do have, again, a great view of that. Hopefully we'll be able to see that coming up later on this evening. Thanks to everybody who sent in some great pictures from across the Mid-South from the area in and around the area from the moon from Deborah J. Spiegel. Thanks a lot for sending in that view of the supermoon last night and also again of the uh, view from several other locations. This particular view from Hatcher Lola on Twitter saying she loves the view of this full moon. And thanks also to Shane underscore Ivy sending in this rising view. And if you've got anything you'd like to send to us, all you have to do is send us a line at Twitter at Aonic underscore slash WREG3. So some decent amounts of stuff going on across the Mid-South for tonight and should be, again, some great views of things. Hopefully later on this week as skies begin to clear after the storm system rolls through by about Wednesday. So if you have any plans for getting outdoors and taking a look around, great opportunity to do so out there. And please drop by more for information at WREG.com slash weather. And we'll also be posting more about our Skyblog 3 coming up. Hopefully this isn't too backwards here, but you get the idea. That's, again, one of the graphics that I put together for that. We'll keep updating this as much as possible at WREG.com slash weather. Thanks for joining me for tonight's edition of Skyblog 3. Tonight's What's Going On with Astronomy in the Mid-South and more information on weather and your complete forecast into the week coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10 and also with Todd Demers tomorrow morning on Daybreak. Thanks for joining me for tonight's Astronomy Update. And remember to keep looking up.